Picture this, you've just created a shiny new budget. You're feeling on top of the world. Two weeks later, you've blown it. Sound familiar? Welcome to the often frustrating, sometimes confusing, but always necessary world of budgeting. You've probably heard it said time and again that budgeting is a surefire way to financial ruin. But is it really? We've all been there, set up a budget, followed it religiously for a week or two, then ended up splurging on that irresistible sale or mouth-watering takeout. It's a common tale, one that leads many to believe that budgeting is a lost cause, a myth, a unicorn in the financial wilderness. But hold on to your calculators, folks. It's time to dispel this myth. Sure, budgeting can be tough, but it's not impossible. In fact, it's far from it. So is budgeting a doomed venture? Spoiler alert, it doesn't have to be. Budgeting. It's like the financial equivalent of eating your veggies. Not always fun, but oh so important for your financial health. You see, a budget is more than just a list of numbers on a page or a screen. It's a roadmap guiding you towards your financial goals, like that dream vacation, a new car, or even early retirement. But let's face it, we've all been there. Start the month with the best of intentions, promising yourself that this time, things will be different. This time, you'll stick to your budget. But by the end of month, you're scratching your head, wondering where all your money went. Sound familiar? You're not alone. According to a recent survey, a whopping 60% of people admitted to failing at their budgeting attempts. That's more than half of us. Which begs the question, why do so many of us struggle with something that seems so simple in theory? Well, the truth is, budgeting isn't as straightforward as it appears. It's not just about setting limits on spending, it's about understanding your income, your expenses, your financial habits, and your goals. And let's not forget about those unexpected expenses that seem to crop up at the most inconvenient times. But here's the thing. Budgets aren't meant to be set in stone. They're meant to be flexible and adaptable, just like us. They're meant to change and evolve as our lives change and evolve. When we understand this, we're a step closer to creating a budget that truly works for us. So if you've ever felt like budgeting is a battle you're destined to lose, don't lose heart. It's not about the budget itself, but how we approach it. It's not about depriving ourselves, but about making conscious decisions on where our money goes. It's about gaining control and creating a financial roadmap that leads us to our goals. Budgets fail. It's not the budget's fault. It's how we budget that needs a makeover. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more budgeting tips and tricks to come. Until then, happy budgeting and remember it's all about how you budget. So why do so many budgets end up in the financial graveyard? Let's meet the usual suspects. Firstly, we've got the unrealistic goals gang. These are the budgets that look more like a wish list than a financial plan. They're often based on fantasy figures rather than actual income and spending habits. You know the type. You plan to live on beans and rice for a month and save 80% of your salary. But then, reality checks in, and you find yourself binge eating sushi because you just couldn't resist. Then we have the inflexibility brigade. These budgets are so rigid, they'd give a military drill sergeant a run for his money. But life, my friend, is not a boot camp. It's unpredictable. Your car may break down, your kid might need braces, or you might have to attend your best friend's destination wedding. A budget without wiggle room for unexpected expenses is like a ship without a lifeboat. It's bound to sink. Next on our lineup is the inflexible tracking troop. Traditional tracking methods like writing down every single penny spent in a ledger can be exhausting. It's like trying to catch raindrops in a sieve. We live in the 21st century, folks. There are apps, spreadsheets, and even cash envelope systems that make tracking a breeze. If your tracking method feels like a chore, it's time for a change. Last but not least, we have the demotivation squad. Budgeting can feel like a buzzkill when it seems like all it does is limit your spending options. It's like going to a party and being told you can only eat celery sticks. Who wouldn't feel discouraged? But remember, budgeting isn't about deprivation, it's about making informed decisions. Recognize any of these budgeting boogeymen? Don't worry, we've all been there. Alright, enough doom and gloom. Let's talk about turning the tide and building a budget that doesn't just survive, but thrives. First things first, when it comes to setting goals, be realistic. If your budget feels like a straitjacket, it's probably too tight. So, start by tracking your income and expenses to understand your baseline. This isn't about being perfect, it's about being honest. Honesty with your money is the first step to financial freedom. Next up, embrace flexibility. Life happens and sometimes it happens expensively. Your budget needs to be ready to roll with the punches. 
So, allocate buffer categories for unplanned costs and occasional treats. Yes, you heard it right, treats. Because let's face it, what's life without a little ice cream or that new book from your favorite author? Now let's talk tracking. Finding a system that suits your style can make or break your budget. Maybe you're a tech-savvy app lover or perhaps you're old school and prefer the tangible feel of cash and envelopes. Either way, find a method that you'll stick to. Remember, the best tracking system is the one you actually use. Lastly, don't forget to celebrate your progress. Small wins are still wins. Got through a week without buying lunch out? That's a win. Saved an extra 20 bucks this month? You bet that's a win. Celebrating these milestones, no matter how small, can help keep you motivated on your financial journey. So, there you have it. Building a better budget isn't about deprivation and despair. It's about setting realistic goals, embracing flexibility, finding your tracking style, and focusing on progress. Remember, a budget isn't a prison. It's a tool to help you take control of your financial destiny. So, go forth and budget with confidence. You've got this. Let's flip the script on budgeting. It's not about restriction, it's about empowerment. Imagine having a crystal ball that could predict your financial future. No, we're not talking about winning lottery numbers, but something even more powerful. Budgeting is your personal financial crystal ball. Think about it. When you create a budget, you're essentially predicting your financial future. You're plotting out your income, your expenses, and most importantly, your financial goals. You're taking control. You're no longer just reacting to financial surprises, you're anticipating them. Now that's what we call financial literacy, and it's a game changer. But a budget isn't just a financial crystal ball, it's a roadmap to your financial dreams. Want to save for a dream vacation? Your budget can get you there? Looking to pay off your student loans? Your budget is your game plan? Aspiring to retire early? Your budget is your most trusted ally. It's not just about dollars and cents, it's about dreams and aspirations. It's about turning your financial goals into reality. And here's the kicker. Budgeting isn't just about spending less, it's about spending smarter. It's about becoming a mindful spender. You see, a budget doesn't just show you where your money is going, it shows you where it could be going. It helps you prioritize your spending, so your money goes towards the things that truly matter to you. You'll be surprised at how much money you can free up when you start making conscious spending decisions. Budgeting isn't about cutting back. It's about getting ahead. It's about making your money work for you. It's about taking control of your financial destiny. It's about empowerment. So, let's change the narrative. Let's stop seeing budgeting as a chore or a burden. Let's start seeing it as a tool for success. A tool for financial freedom. So, are you ready to take the reins and conquer the budgeting battlefield? All right, let's wrap this up. Budgeting doesn't have to be a losing battle. We've seen how pitfalls like unrealistic goals, inflexibility, problematic tracking, and demotivation can throw us off course. But remember, these are not inevitable. They're potholes on the road, yet with the right approach, we can navigate around them. Start by setting a realistic budget that reflects your actual income and spending habits. Be flexible. Life happens and your budget should be able to adapt. Find a tracking method that works for you. There's no one-size-fits-all solution, so whether it's an app, a spreadsheet, or the good old cash envelope system, go for. And finally, focus on your progress. Celebrate the small wins and milestones. Your financial success is in your hands. So, what's your next move? Don't forget, if you found this video useful, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Together, we can make budgeting simpler and bring clarity to your financial journey.